dinner with me. Sharing your healthy living and healthy eating, sharing your stories and values from different cultures and from your kitchen to the table. In a beautiful downtown area today, I'm going to come to Matrini's house. She will cook something special for us, something that her mom cooked for the family every every Sunday, I think so. So we're gonna find out what is actually she's going to prepare for us. Let's come inside. Oh, I got a guess and check it out. Anybody home? Hey! <laughs> Matrini. Good. How is it going? Everything great. I'm I'm happy to, to find your house. Did you uh, find difficult to find yeah, the house? Today actually is uh, it's quite easy. It's not uh -huh. really far from where I live. Yeah, actually, um, this area um, it's loca uh, located in the Washington Park, okay. the Washington Square, and um, I like this neighborhood because it's quiet and also yeah. um, historical and more. Yeah, I, I can see that the the house is you know like very historical. So I'm glad you know I'm, I'm so excited about this. What are you going to cook today? Oh, I would like to cook. We call it taucho, and actually taucho. Taucho actually is a soya bean paste. Okay. And in Asian cooking, sometimes Korean food you can find they use. Uh, mm -hmm. a soya bean paste on mm -hmm. that but this one is a little bit spicy and I hope that it was uh, gonna be okay for you a little bit spicy <laughs> okay that's good yeah so I just want to find out soon I cannot I'm hungry <laughs> okay and this uh, this type of cooking we will do with the string beans mm -hmm. and I put a little bit tofu for vegan option or vegetarian and also I will add um, shrimp okay all right, and there's a kind of a very special spices from Indonesia, sure. such as like lemongrass, gala gala, and um, bay leaves. And as you can hear, the city hall bell. And I hope that you will be enjoy the city hall bell I as think, well. Yes, I think everybody will enjoy this. All right, come on in. Let's go. This is dinner with me, and um, today I would like to present my favorite. Uh, this is, is about, uh, we call it taucho. Taucho actually means a soya bean paste and um, I would like to do the taucho with the green beans or string beans like this and um, I would like to present in, uh, what are the ingredients that we need to cook uh, with um, the whole taucho and also the shrimp. So first of all, uh, everything is ready here on the table. And I would like to start with the, we're gonna use the vegetable with the green beans here. And it's about maybe um, like, um, uh, maybe like a um, quarter pounds if you want to for two servings or two plates. And also um, I would like to do, you can do with the sambal taucho. Sambal taucho means um, with the, chilies or peppers which is like a little bit spicy and you can find it is uh, actually in Indonesian warung um, or in Asian market in Chinatown um, this is really a traditional Indonesian taucho but you also can use this um, salted soya beans and um, it looks like this it's basically the soya beans and got salted or fermentation this is delicious um, I would like to do with the the shrimp here because it's um it can have like a smell of a spice uh seafood and um it was always really good with the vegetable and i would like to do with the tofu which is um you can find it in asian market too on also some of the supermarket and you cut them into cubes um this uh, tofu usually good for vegetarian options or vegan options um and um i would like to get with the um, garlic and onions um, this is the garlic and onions or shallot and also if you want to have more spicy then we can have a, um, a chilies or um, jalapeno uh, so we chop the um, and also with ginger with ginger here and um, this is really nice and you can peel them off and cut them into small pieces like this and then you chop the garlic and also with the onions and uh, what other things that we need is uh, lemongrass at the end lemongrass uh, most likely in the um, you can find in Asian market you can cut it into three pieces and the last one and uh, we can use the salt a little bit if you 
think that it is you need to have more extra for um, uh, for the taste. So that's all the ingredients that we we need for the taucho. And now we are ready to uh, cook them, bring them to the stuff, and hopefully it can be delicious and yummy. Now, Matrini will show me how to cook her taucho. That's right. Right? And will you help me? Yeah, I will, definitely. And this is the whole ingredients, right? So yeah, then we can start with Turning on the yeah. gas and put in the put, stove. Should we put a little bit of oil? Sure, put it as a vegetable oil. Yeah, tell me how much you need it. Yes, it's about like one or two spoons. That's good. That's good. Okay. Right. And actually, then it doesn't look like that much ingredients, so people can people actually can try this. Sure. So while we're waiting, the the oil heat it up. Um, maybe you can explain what is all here. So uh, we got what is that? Um, Shallot. Shallots. Garlic mm -hmm. and uh, ginger. Ginger and garlic. garlic. That's right. All right, you chop, chop, chop this into like small pieces like this. That's true. And then uh, we, we got tofu, right? Uh huh. We already, uh, I already cook it. Uh, so you cook it until like a little bit brown like this, mm -hmm. and you, uh, of course, you cut it cubes. And after that, you, um, you. It's ready to go with the taucho. Any particular tofu that you use? Uh, it's any kind. Usually, you, basically, you use uh, um, from Asian market. And I think the oil is ready now. Right. Maybe we can start with the. Which one you're gonna put first? The garlic. The garlic. So the garlic. We do. We saute down. Yeah. And then until a bit smells good, mm -hmm. then you put the salad. And last one is the ginger. And then put ginger a little bit here. All right. Oh, looks amazing. Wow. Sorry, it's a little bit hot here because you're around the stove. <laughs> smells, smells, smells good though. And yeah. then after that, usually we can do the okay. chili, but because it's uh, a little bit spicy and I think we got the uh, soya bean paste already oh. with the sambal, we call it. So, so we don't really need... So this is the soya bean but with the sambal. Right, with sorry, sorry. And what is sambal? You can look at here. Uh, this is a sambal, maybe you can close it to the camera. So sambal is actually is Indonesian language, is right? Right. Meaning uh, sambal is spicy. Sponsor is basically the chili with the sauce and you grind it together with the um, garlic and shallot basically. All so right. maybe we can put in the sink. Then mm -hmm. the next one, you can put the bay leaves. That's the bay leaves. And then the Lemongrass. That's okay. You cut into like small. Yeah, sandwich. three pieces, right? And then right. the gala gala. And this is gala gala. Right. Mm hmm. All right. Just okay. Put like that. Yes, sure. And then, um, oh, I forgot to take a. Can you get me the uh, the shrimp from the fridge, please? The fridge. All right. All right. While well, I'm stirring this up, and we are waiting for the shrimp. And um, you saw it this until it looks like brown a little bit. So I got shrimp already clean here, right? Right. So you just put it in? Put it in. All right. All right. Oh, nice. nice, right? One left. Sure. And then while I keep stirring this, can you get ready with the tofu? The tofu. Mm hmm. So this is the one that she already prepared. Right. Just put it in like that. That's true. Right. Okay. So we started a little bit. And the next one. The next one, we can. Close it a little bit with the lid, about uh, one minute or so. Mm -hmm. While you, while we're waiting for that. Mm -hmm. So we have two here. Which one? And both of them is also they call taucho, mm -hmm. right? Taucho, yeah. This is soya bean paste, and this one actually without chili on it. It's basically salted soybeans, and this one is already with the chili. With the chili. And the the, dif the difference is this one is spicy. Right. That's true. So this is a fermented soybeans. Mm -hmm. And in your in your in Indonesian they call taucho. Taucho, so that's taucho right. So taucho is not is also called as uh, soya beans. Right. All right. So now we open this. Looks like good until the shrimps look like half cooked. Then we can you pour the um, the string beans, so please. So the string beans you chop chop into small pieces. Right? right. Yes. And you put in the whole thing. Right. Don't forget to wash them. Oh yeah. To rinse them <laughs> before that. I hope you did. <laughs> yeah, I do. And now the last part is to put the salted soya beans. So how much we need it? Like this cup? Like right, this, this like cup. cup. Yes, it's like two spoons. Two this spoons. is like a um, tablespoon. All right, can I smell it? Sure. Not so good. Yeah. I, lo I just love the smell already. Right. I just put like that. Okay. 
And also, at the end of the show, we can always um, post it about all the ingredients and how you can cook it, right? Yeah, and this just looks so, like, very tasty and also yet so, you know, it's so cheap. Like, everything is just, like, it's so easy to find it. And it's not and very, also, very expensive. Stuff. Then also you can find it a very fresh in the um, uh, farmer's market. Yeah. And um, I don't think that it's difficult. And they are already there and not so expensive, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we can always cook fun and um, affordable. If anybody at home, they don't really like to have shrimp, can I, they can change it with something like chicken uh, or is, you gotta be with seafood you gotta be with seafood and um, you can always do with the quail eggs you know the quail eggs oh, yeah. the small one okay and then you boil them just like you boil the, the egg and then you peel them off and yeah. you can put it here okay or also we can do with tempeh if uh, you tempeh. like tempeh. Okay. do you know the tempeh yeah it's like um i know that one it's like not, now it's kind of very, very famous tempeh because right. it's a lot of like vegetarian people they, That's true. they use that one into the making sandwiches yeah you know. And then now, once it's a little bit, as you see, it's cooking. And oh. then we need a little bit boiling, so I add a little bit of water here. I put water. Yeah, so the water can maybe like uh, one cup. Okay. So, so it, it can helps, like... It helps cook everything. Right, and then it helps everything, and then the shrimp and all the spices, the lemongrass and the gala gala um, can mix together. And you cook it is about like um, five minutes. Five minutes. And it can ready to go to the table. And, and will you will you join me oh, to yes, the table? Yes, absolutely. And you want a little bit a little bit juicy water over there, right? That's right. It's kind of a kind of a broth, you okay. know, like having broth in it. And actually, when you serve this, usually we cook it with uh, we we eat it with um, rice. White rice. White, white rice, yes, and then the, the white rice, after you have this, you don't really need to have another veggie, you don't mm -hmm. need another um, beef or chicken, this is like everything including here. Alright. Yeah, so, so this, this is, is the main course. Yeah, this is the main course and um, I like it because I think this is the first one when my mom taught me how to do complicated cooking. Okay. You know? So this is something that you cook? like on the table during dinner when your mom cook every for everybody in the family dress right okay. yeah okay so we will wait until five minutes and um we can we it can be ready to the table yes. Now we got the um, shrimp taucho with string beans ready on the table. Trini, thank you for preparing this one for us. Oh, you're welcome and um, it's a pleasure that I can share with you about the food and there's a little bit of fly here <laughs> running around because maybe they want to eat it. coming from because the taucho <laughs> smells so good and the, until the fly also like to join with us. <laughs> oh, thank you for decorating this. Uh, yeah, we serve sure. it with the rice yeah. and then you see the um, white rice here. And um, before that, I think um, we forgot to mention about salt. Salt. Yeah, since the soya bean paste is kind of um, salty, yeah. so sometimes you need to taste whether you need to add more or not. But in this case, Did I think it's... salt? I don't, I don't really have okay. because I think it's, it's just quite enough. Yeah. It's about right. So it's just about a matter whether you like a little bit salty or not. If not, you don't have to put more salt because yeah. you say it's already salted from the soya bean. That's right. So have a have oh, another yeah. tea. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Yes. Look at that. The shrimp is such a huge size of shrimp, Mum. Yeah. I'm just so happy. <laughs> you happy? But All it's right. a little bit spicy, so be careful. Well, I can take a little bit spicy, uh -huh. as like I said before. Let me just try with a little bit. Mmm. Yummy. It's this cool. Is so good. That's right. Let me try the tofu too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Amazing. Mm. I cannot stop eating. This is really good. You like it? Yeah, the um the tau chow, mm -hmm. it just bring the uh, the taste is just like it's in it's inside the this this kind of meal. I mean I mean, I, I was wondering like if I can just like put anything with the taucho, right? That's true. And um, actually you can um, cook any kind of vegetable with the, the taucho because it's soya beans. Yeah. And just be careful about the salt. 
and um, yeah, and then you can add you want to be a little bit spicy or not. Yeah. And I like tofu too. You should try the tofu. Yeah, I will. So you said this is part of the part of Indonesian food. Right. This is kind of part of Indonesian cuisine. Yeah. And um, here in Philadelphia, even though we have a little Indonesian in South Philly. They don't really um, cook a lot with this. It's only by request, I guess. I don't know why, but I love this. Um, maybe because I'm Bataknis, I, I was born in Bataknis family. And um, as you can see, um, and you can taste, it's a bit spicy. Yeah. In most of Indonesian food, uh, the spiciness usually, you know, we talk about hot and spicy from the chili peppers. Usually Bataknis food, it's more spicy than the other um, Indonesian food. The other ones, it's like a more sweet, and um, sweet is more like Javanese style. But this one, I can say that it's a Spataknis. I know that it's not really a lot that mm -hmm. people offer in the, even in like a restaurant or kind of warung that people cook Indonesian food, but I love this. So Bataknis people, um, they, they do like they do like spicy. Right. Um, um, they just get used to it, um, preparing such a um, spicy, mm -hmm. spicy food. And then, um, but you guys making it like, Everything is just like from the fresh, fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Well, the other things that um, that I like so much. Um, while I'm preparing, as you see, that I chop off the the ingredients. You know, then I prepare all the things. So basically, we start the food from the scratch. Yeah. We don't really. We're not used to have like a canned food or in yeah. a package or maybe like frozen food. It's just not used to us. And I remember when I was little, I went to the like um, what we call here the farmers market. It's in the morning. They open like maybe starting at six o'clock and they close like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock. So I did cooking before I went to school. I was in primary school. So my mother uh, teaching in the morning. So I need to cook our food, you know, for lunchtime. Then I went to school. It's about like one o'clock. So I get used to it and then get in the farmer's market and cook it and I get used to it. And I'm okay. glad that I, I can do cooking now and I yeah. don't need to go to the culinary or cooking school. Yeah, I think something very interesting for me is actually Bataknis, which is so Bataknis is actually in the one of big island in Indonesia, which is called Sumatra. Right, right. Bataknis in the Sumatra. So amazing how far Sumatra is, whether, you know, you cannot find all the ingredients so much, I think, here in the U.S., but actually you can find it in the market here. Yeah, and I think um, most of my Indonesian friends, for instance, back then in Jakarta or in Indonesia asked me, where do you get the ingredients? Yeah. Isn't it hard? Well, uh, fortunately, we are in Philadelphia. We can get it uh, like in Reading Terminal Market, some of them, and in, even like in the Washington Avenue, most of like an Asian market and yeah. Vietnamese market. And um, it's just so amazing that all of the ingredients come together and, I, and then I don't need to feel like um, being alone or alienated exactly, yeah. in the United States because then I can find ingredients and I can cook by myself. Cooking is sort of like um, uh, meditation or contemplation. I that agree. It's not only because you are hungry, but, you, but you know, I, I really missing like chop the, the vegetables and all the ingredients. It's part of that. I like the smell. Yeah. You know, that's why like, I like cooking. Even this is the first time actually I, uh, I know about Taucho, so I'm gonna put Taucho as part of my um, my regular, you know, cooking cooking yeah. stuff at home. I think. Yes, and um, yeah, I hope that you like it and you enjoy it. This is part of um, my culture, and I guess it's more like a, a memory when I was little. Then, can you imagine when you when I was little, like primary school, yeah. how you can be like a chef, you know? But in traditionally, women in Batakni's culture sort of like get involved with the household, like cooking domestically and um, and we learn by not, there's no um, cookbook at that time. Yeah. So we learn by how our parents and like um, our mom and the family show us to do it. And it's just like get used to it and then I memorize how to do it. And then all of a sudden, like right now I get used, you know, yeah. without worried about how much in how much certain the yeah. ingredients, yeah. So one more quick question to, um, to the people who uh, watching right now yes. dinner with me program uh -huh. so what do you um, what do you think about healthy living healthy eating like what do you do you know just to uh, I know that you are cooking every day like some something like very fresh like this mm -hmm. so what is any message from you to the people that actually would like to um, do the healthy living healthy eating so actually that's the reason I would like to develop uh, the show together with you yeah. and now you are doing it for me and thank you very much You're welcome. it's healthy living healthy eating um, healthy living is basically to me it's my in my own uh, definitions healthy living how I can be happy 
and also it's not only my my feeling but my body and then my soul and then my mind so doing that so there should be a connections between the process of making the food i would like to have a connection with my food you know even like my husband like to say uh, you really enjoy your food like you you yeah. really act to it you know like i'm really not really quiet you know do not need like the meditation to do the, you know eating the food but how to make a connections oh this is the veggie and it's going to go to my body mm -hmm. and it bring health and nutrition and hopefully uh, if i can help i can you know i can think clearly yeah and then emotionally I can be healthy. That's healthy living for me. And healthy eating, it's something like it's not too far in my mm. in my conceptions, which means that I can get the ingredients not too far that I don't need to drive. Like yep. that's why I like to live in the city. So I can just like walk by. It's just like walkable. Yeah. Well it's just a couple of blocks, but then you know, it's kind of healthy. I can get exercising and also uh, get to know people that who sell the food and what all these ingredients yeah. about. So it's not it's not always um, to be fancy or you know like to be expensive but something like uh, we can bring I can bring my creativity I can change a little bit something and then make me happy and make me smile yeah and one thing I think I believe cooking at home is is a great thing to save because it's cheap but you get the whole you get the whole ingredient you have the whole vitamins the all nutrition nutrition that you need for your body that's right right yes so it's sure. just a matter you know how you're gonna like make yourself disciplined mm -hmm. of like cooking something for yourself and for your family. Yeah. So you want to finish the yes. I'd like I just like would like to continue this and then eating <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> but thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for um, supporting me and then with our show Dinner with Me yeah. which is dinner with Matrini and Edward and also uh, for the future for another episode we would like to have a guest and then you can email us if you are interested to present something so we can discuss with you and also we can share with the other audience especially in Philadelphia that um, we can share each other what are our um, recipes or family recipes and how you cook it and actually uh, create awareness yeah. about how you close about healthy healthy living and healthy eating yeah that's a great message for all for everybody so do you want to um, say what the, our audience at home uh, can check out for the next episode. So, I heard that I got a, a good news that you yeah, have actually, somebody um, we, want to particip participate. Yeah, we have people that we like to show you for the next uh, next episode. It's going to be a very different kind of meal. But it's going to be interested, and also they will like to show you to show you something that um, you might want to know more about themselves, about their culture, and about their lifestyle. So always check it out about dinner with me episodes. So. Um, from now on, I just want to finish this one. <laughs> yeah, let's eat. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, yummy. Dinner with me. Healthy living, healthy eating. Sharing your stories and values from different cultures, from your kitchen to the table.